Alright, here we are. This is uh, League's video number 1000 you're seeing today. But it's actually my first time playing. Um, really excited. I wasn't really interested in the past ones for whatever reason. Uh, didn't have the time to play or couldn't find the motivation. But yeah, I'm actually really excited for this one. Um, so far, it's so addictive, man. I am absolutely loving it. It's been a while since I've actually played the early game of RuneScape as well, even though it's totally different. But um, yeah, just going to whiz few the first sort of... 2000 points because this is something that you'll see on every single video ever today um but yeah i just followed the guy i followed wizzy's guide i'll link it in the description it's uh really good the guy's a fucking genius um so i just like yeah blindly accepted what he told me to do and did everything on the guide got me to my first uh region unlock which you'll see in a bit and uh yeah first few easy tasks because that's like the least fun part of this game mode i feel um so yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy this video, and I will see you with some live commentary scattered about. Alright, I'm having so much fun so far. Um, we're about four hours in, and uh, 2500, fourth relic unlocked. I'm going to go for reloaded. And... Yes, and then... Do you get, what, do you get to choose, choose another one, or what? Yeah. Friendly Forager, because... Uh, yeah, Herbal XP is uh, looking like something that I will need, and uh, really nice effects like 90% uh, chance to not be uh, use a uh, secondary. So, very nice. Let's select and confirm. Uh, let's keep going. My next sort of goal is to kill Scurrius so I can get the third range mastery. Forager's pouch, nice. Yeah, let's look at my masteries. I'm going for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 range, and then I'm going to do 6, no, 5 Melee. So five of each. Which should be good. So uh, let's go and work towards killing Scorius. Oh, that was the longest Scurrious kill of all time, but we are done, and now I can uh, unlock my third mastery. Let's check out what it is. Going range first, um, and this is attack rate to 8% rounding down, and accuracy 100%, that is very nice. Confirm, we go next. This is something that I'm not going to record a lot of, so I'm just going to really speed it up. But uh, clues are incredibly easy on this game mode. Um, you can just drop all the stash steps you get, because of the amount of clues you get, at least with easies. And just spam through. Like, I did 50 cl uh, easy clues in about 10 minutes um, with the clue, what, the teleport relic, whatever it's called. Um, really busted, really easy collection log slots, and I got to 75 easies for that uh, task as well. Alright, just did a load of piss random tasks so I could unlock my next area because I was pretty stuck on what to do next. So, this will be... where the fuck is it, mate? Taranwin, going to Priftanas, and we're going to do some Zora, which will be very nice. And I think it's all unlocked straight away, so I don't have to do any stupid quests, but uh, this should be fun. I'm excited. Let's do it. Lock it in. Right, it's two out of three. Two out of three areas. I don't actually know how lucky that is. I know all the uh, drop rates are boosted, but one key, <laughs> I got the road bomb, and 200 points for equipping that, which is beautiful. Um, so now we are only 600 points away from next relic, uh, which is nice. Just going to blitz through these. I am doing Slayer tasks as well. Uh, pretty close to 55 Slayer, and then I can get the next mastery, which will be very nice. Managed to scramble together a master casket. I uh, went through two for this, but uh, let's see what we get. Any... Yes, I won the chat. Oh, wait, actually. No, because I can't go to fucking Zaya. So no thanks. And... 
All right. Hey, actually, that's pretty good because um, we got some uh, elks. Actually, quite a lot of elks. So we'll take that and 110 league points. That is big. That is very nice. All right. Hopefully, if I've got this right. Hey, very nice. So I just got 57 Slayer. Uh, did a Revenant task. You probably didn't see any of that. Maybe you did. Can't remember. Um, but got some nice stuff from that. Uh, 57, that means we can unlock number four of the range combat mastery. And uh, this is a healing one and take less damage. Very nice for uh, some of the higher level PVM that I'm going to be doing pretty soon. There we go. I'm planning on doing some Zora pretty soon. Um, I'd like to get a blowpipe. That would be so huge. But uh, I need, probably need some better gear before I do that. So I'll see you with whatever I do. I'm pretty close to the next relic. Might be the next thing I see you with. Dude! I just got another road bottom? Hello? How do I check this? Dude, what the... This must be common as fuck from this place. I've opened three chests. I got two Dagon High road bottoms. Nah. That's gotta be... That's gotta be uh, fucking common. Or I'm just really lucky. First solo kill. First attempt as well. Completely out of surprise, but that was uh, very easy, really. I mean... Been a while since I've done Zora, and I'm using fucking iron knives, but these relics are pretty OP, so wasn't too much of an issue. With that elf destroyed, that gives me 5,000 points and enough for my new relic. I don't know what I want to get here, to be honest. It's like the first time that I've uh, been stuck on one. Uh, holy shit, there's a lot of these. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm Okay, this is... Garbage. I'm not doing the fucking clue scroll one. Um, so I'm torn between these two, leaning more towards the Slayer one, which is... I'm probably just going to pick this, um, to be honest, but... Always on task for eligible Slayer monsters, so you never have to get a Slayer task, you just get Slayer XP from everything. Which is great. Um, you get all the Slayer task perks, great. I get a Rune Pouch out of it, and a Herb Sack. Um, you can skip infinitely, which is... I think that's kind of useless anyway if you're on task all the time anyway, but... And then you get, like, bonus XP and stuff. Um, so that's nice, and I am doing Slayer at the moment. I am more focusing on combat, obviously. Um, Production Master, this is, like, every time you do a skilling action, it does everything in your inventory at once, which is really fucking OP and tempts me um, because I hate sitting there and just... Like, I was smithing these knives earlier, and it's just so... It feel, especially in a game mode like this, it just feels so slow doing stuff like that. So, I don't know, man. I wish I could take them both. I really want them both. I don't know. I'm going to think about this, actually. This is harder than I thought, so I'll be back. Okay, I've actually decided against Slayer Master, I think. Because I was thinking about this, and I'm going to do Banker's Note later. And when I get that, I mean, this is going to make skilling so fucking quick. And I can use the more time that I have to do the stuff that I enjoy, which is PVM. So, I mean, yeah, I've just been thinking about this, and I've been thinking, like, oh my god, I really don't want to, like, do fletching and smithing and stuff. Um, even, like, cooking is actually good. I mean, cooking's okay with the harpoon, but crafting, I really want uh, to get my crafting high so I can just get a fury. Um, so I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. Um, I don't think the Slayer one is that useful, really. I'm probably going to get 99. I'm definitely going to get 99 Slayer anyway. Um, so, let's do it. Confirmed. It's done. I can't. No regrets. It's fine. Whatever. Um, yeah, tier 6. Definitely going Banker's Note. I'm not sure on this. Probably Overgrown. Although, I, I haven't really read up about them. Maybe Grimoire. And then... I don't know. But, we are looking good. This is still day 1. I'm about to log off. 5,000 points. Probably a good way to end the episode. Um, or end the day. Or whatever. I don't know when I'm going to upload this. I, I don't know. It's like 4am. Should I edit this tonight? Maybe. You might see this in the morning. But yeah, thanks for watching. First time doing leagues. Very excited. It's really fun. Alright, bye. Uh, Realised that I should probably give some updates at the end of the day. Or the days that I will be releasing videos. I can't play every day. But... Um, yeah, this is what my stats are looking like. Leaning towards magic and range at the moment. Um, more towards range now. Gonna 
settle down on the magic because I am obviously uh, getting the range masteries to start with. Gonna get up to five and then get all s and then get five of the uh, melee ones as well. So I'm pretty much just ignore magic. Ugh, gonna ignore magic after this. Um, so yeah, that's looking nice. Doing some scaling right now, just whilst I am or whilst I was editing. This thing is awesome, by the way. Um, they cap out at 30. You just get like passive herbs from skilling. You know this. Cap out at 30 and you can withdraw the herb that you want to collect. Um, so that it's, it'll just give you that herb. You can like brute force it to choose a herb that you want, which is so cool. Um, yep, this is what it's looking like. 5,000 points exactly at this point. Uh, relics are this. You know this already. But yeah, just wanted to give a little update before I signed off. So I'll see you with the next video, which will probably be in couple of days maybe a couple of days not promising anything but hope you enjoyed this one and i was really glad i was able to get this out quickly